Hello everybody, Chris here and today I have a special video for all the future teen mains in VHS. I just want to say special thanks to Pop for providing more info for the videos. She decided to take out a couple minutes of her own time to write down 8 tips for all of us. So let's see what they are. Tip number 1. Never run at the first 15 seconds of the match or otherwise the monster will detect your footsteps and transform near you. So what she means by this is that anybody can hear your footsteps, even the other teens. And since you don't know who the monster is, you want to stay clear of everybody for the first 15 seconds of the game. And not holding shift is a good way to go because if the monster is nearby, they will hear you and they will transform near you. Tip Number 2. After the monster is wounded by a weapon and is banished, don't be near any of the stations to try and be unpredictable, and stay away from the stations until you hear the rolling tape, sound he makes when he responds. In case you don't already know, but after the monster is banished, they will go to the afterworld where they can move across the map without being seen, and they will respawn in the place to where they go. A lot of newbie monster mains will probably try to go to the next station they see, to try and ambush another teen. So yeah, it makes sense to stay away from the stations until the monster respawns. Tip number 3. Try to keep a safe distance between you and the monster while attacking him with weapons, especially the weapons that require you to be physically near the monster, as if he hits you while he's burning with a molotov for instance, his scream will cancel the fire and you'll lose a health state and an important weapon. This is actually something that a lot of YouTubers have been covering lately and that's the importance of distancing, because the monster can still land a hit even whilst they're being damaged and if that happens their scream will cancel out all the damage and you will have to run. So you're basically wasting away a whole weapon or maybe a portion of it and taking a hit. So knowing how much damage the monster needs to take with a certain weapon is really useful and knowing how to stay in a safe distance is also really important. Number 4. Ping your location constantly, even if you're not being chased by the monster, so other teens who don't have a mic or voice yet can still get updated constantly and coordinate better with weapons like RC Flyer and the Eye. And pinging the location of the monster goes without saying. Tip number 5. Starting teen I'd recommend Jess because her perks are good for stealth and avoiding the monster as much as possible and her perks are great for ambushes. So in case you can't decide which team to go with, I guess a VHS beta player would recommend Jess because of her stealthiness and the ability to stay undetected, which makes sense because a lot of newbie players will be afraid of getting in contact with the monster, sometimes even when they have a weapon. Tip number 6. Try to craft the fire weapons first as it's the most difficult stigma to stay in late game in 2v1 or 1v1 situations. I'm gonna have to trust Pop on this one because I don't know much about this, I guess this one goes with experience. No amount of research will make me realize this, this one goes with playing the game. But it kind of does make sense since the fire weapons are the hardest ones to actually land a killing blow with. Flamethrower is easy to use but has a low range and low casting time. Molotov requires a lot of experience and Sunstone is a weird one. It doesn't require as much mechanical knowledge as Molotov but it requires a lot of positional knowledge, which one would even say requires more experience than Molotov in some scenarios. Tip number 8. When coordinating an attack with other teams. Try to be in a safe spot because if you get attacked all teams will have to split up and as I mentioned before the distance between you and the monster is very important and the timing to using weapons is a key to victory. If one of you gets hit by a monster during an ambush, monster will roar and disable all your weapons for certain durations and during that time of panic you won't be able to coordinate where to go exactly so you guys will split up and have to start all over again. So it only makes sense to coordinate your attack to the best of your abilities, staying in safe spots knowing where you can stand not get hit easily. But I also think this one will actually require a lot of experience to master, coordinating with teammates you don't know is not easy and you playing the game for the first time definitely doesn't make it any easier. So I guess this one is actually common knowledge but it's still a good tip to keep in mind in your first game because if you go an extra mile just to communicate with your team to try and figure out what to do next that can save you the game. And those are the 8 tips from the VHS team main. Once again thank you Pop for providing us with this info so I can make this wholesome video for everybody. As always I want to hear what you guys think, did you find the tips helpful? Maybe you want to add something, maybe you disagree with one of these, let me know down below. If you peeps find the videos I make enjoyable and don't want to miss out on any future ones, please consider smashing that like button below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. All that being said, wishing all a beautiful evening and I guess I'll see you in the next one. See you.